Hey Pillars, welcome back to another crash analysis. We're taking a look at Mate Mohoric's crash during stage 9 of the Giro d'Italia. I never like to make these, but I have to in order to explain what happened and also how we can avoid it. So we're going to look at the crash right now and really dissect what happened. Now the crash took place during the first descent of stage 9 of the Giro and you can see Mohoric's front wheel seems to lock up. It goes back, it stops, goes back and then throws him over his handlebars head first, which usually means something has to do with the front end of the bike in terms Terms of breaking something went wrong and he was lucky he got up he seemed like he was going to continue which is the normal thing but then he goes to sit down it looks like he was concussed and he was taken out of the race and he looks to be okay so nothing severe he did hit his head hit his whole neck sideways and his whole uh, fork actually just snapped so it was a pretty gruesome scene and you can see that something regarding his front end of his bike regarding his brakes I don't want to be that guy that says oh his disc brakes locked up if he was on rim brakes this wouldn't have happened but it's just very weird on a descent we know disc brakes on road bikes during descents can overheat and seize and lock up so it just seems like his front end of his disc brake bike locked up it went forward went back very significantly and then threw him forward so something along those lines or it could have been a whole fork failure it's very hard to see i've tried slowing it down to the best of my abilities but it just it's a very weird feeling so in my professional opinion i would have to say either his front brake seized something along those lines and the whole force and how fast he was going caused his fork to fail then again i'm not an engineer i'm not saying this is exactly how it happened or he could have just had a fork failure and that could also explain why it jerked back it broke and then he threw himself over the, the handlebars but i would just say the most common sense thing i can think about is that doesn't look like he overcooked the corner then again he might have overcooked the corner a little bit and that's why his back end um you know he was drifting he was sliding a little bit on the back end you can see that he kind of he kind of glides a little bit around the corner but then in terms of the front end of the bike you know did he grab too much brake i'm not sure but in terms of these bike riders they are professionals they know how to descend so i think in my opinion i would have to go with the fact that his front caliper seized he was going too hot it was overheating on the descent and that caused you know the brake calipers to seize throw himself over the handlebar and i wanted to make this video to always highlight when you're going on the descent you know unless you're in a race situation take it easy i see people doing full-on aero tucks taking severe severe risk and this is lucky this is on a closed road imagine if it wasn't so i always want to highlight these videos because it just shows you that even these professionals that ride six hours a day they're descending at gnarly speeds 80 90 kilometers an hour for us and for the majority of riders, you should just take it easy. You know, take it slow because you never know what can happen. A fork failure, your your disc brakes overheat and they seize. So many things can happen. And I'm just happy he was able to get up. He was seems to be okay. Concussed, obviously, taken away in ambulance. But at the end of the day, he will ride on. And that's the most important factor of this crash is that he's going to be riding on in another race and he's going to be on his bike very soon so i hope you guys did enjoy this video i want to hear your opinion on what happened was it a fork failure was his disc brakes overheated and seized or was it just bad bike handling a freak accident i want to hear what you guys have to say comment down below like this video subscribe to the channel a full recap of station nine is coming up it's overheating you know the riders are taking severe risks it's getting super interesting and i'm here to cover all of it so until the next one keep on pedaling